Walter, if this happens, if it if it starts to get created, how soon would we know about it? How soon would scientists be able to say, "Oh no, we've done something wrong"? Well, right right away, or would it take a while before they knew it? It, it would take a long while before we knew it. Uh, you would not see these things. Uh, they would disappear, so to speak. You could, would not detect them with your detectors because they would barely interact. Some people have referred to them as being neutrino-like. Uh, that they, they pass, they would pass through matter very easily, and it would take, uh, many days before, it, uh, of passing through matter before it would interact with an atom. Uh, and then grow a little bit larger, then the next interaction would be a, a little bit shorter period of time, and then the next interaction a little bit shorter period of time as it slowly grew larger. So you would never see it in your detector, in your particle detectors. And so the only way you would detect it later on would be its effects on the planet. And, and it would be too big by then. And by that, yeah, you wouldn't be able to do anything, even if it were, if it were still small. Uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't even feel it until it's at the very end stages of devouring the Earth. Uh, you would maybe only minutes before the Earth were devoured start feeling earthquakes. I mean, would we get a sign though, Walter, that maybe let's say a satellite got too close to the black hole and got sucked in, and no, you know, some... right, it would it would pass right through the satellite. And and uh, the satellite wouldn't be affected. Would it, not be affected. It okay. would not be affected uh, until it, it, eventually, when it's growing uh, larger and larger, and it's entirely inside of the Earth. At that point, uh, it might be possible you would be able to somehow detect it that deep down in the Earth that there was matter, you know, rumblings within the Earth, so to speak. But uh, by the time you would detect it, it would be. At the very tail end of its consuming of the planet, it, it would start rapidly accelerating and it's, it's uh, eating up the Earth. And uh, you'd have minutes. I'm George Norrie. This is Coast to Coast AM.